Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel, and we're gonna start a new game on the Fat Man Apocalypse setting. Well, we're gonna start our adventure in the normal difficulty. Um, I clicked for this rapidly because you've seen it for 17 times now. So have I. Actually, I've seen it many more times. Um, there have been really horrible starts between episodes where I... Um, ooh, okay, it's actually... Oh, damn it. Don't, don't put it in the way. Uh, there have been some attempts of me collecting items that went horribly wrong where I got way too greedy and I don't feel there's a point of me showing you how really badly I suck at collecting items so I usually just restart the recording and I think I just failed like five times I got way too greedy like super way too greedy wasn't even just ridiculously greedy okay got some food here I might have to focus a little bit more on water Let's grab that book because it's my favorite book. Let's grab that water because water is my favorite thing to drink. Oh, the map! The map. Okay, that was a horrible run because we just threw two items in here. Could have been way more effective with that. Let's grab the radio. Let's grab the soup and the axe. That's good. Timmy's gonna be sick when I send him out again. Okay, right over here we do have the box spray. Oh, the map is over there. Okay, grab it. Run. Run, weasel. This is gonna be so close. Ah, oh, no. have you seen it? It was so close. Barely made it, but we made it. That is all that counts. And I think, actually surprisingly well, I mean. Yeah, look at that shelter. We don't have playing cards. We have no checkers. We might go crazy, but we do indeed have a radio map, rifle and some food. Even the med kit. Just kind of did not get the mess. Did not have enough time for that. Wheatley, you want to come over here? You want to you wanna fly and sit on me instead of screaming on your cage? How about that? Come on. Don't be like this. We can be friends. Yes, come here. All right, I got him. All right, our shelves are full of cans. There's just barely enough water for everyone. We will have to ration it strictly. The best stockpile we've ever seen. We've never seen another one. Well, now is, now is the day you learn. Yeah, you're just a regular family. They're so regular. They're so cliche regular. I love it. I love it. It's great. Um, we could barely sleep after all that arguing. Well, let's hope they don't get too tired. Um, well, there's nothing really to do up until day five, but I will send Timmy out. Um, right out there. I think I will leave Mary Jane in. She, m We might be able to get her into become a mutant. Which would be a fan friggin' tastic. I would love that so much. Whereas water when Timmy needs us some water for Timmy would be nice. Yes, 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 yes. Tomorrow is not uh, today is not the day for water. Who should go outside? She should go outside. Oh, why did I send no, I sent Mary Jane. Ah, I wanted to send Timmy. I was talking so much about Mary Jane and her becoming a mutant. Ah well. Ah well. It happens. Ha! Guess what? We already got ourselves our very own fallout garden. A bunch of mushrooms growing on the wall. Yes, eat them. Just just eat the mushrooms on the wall. If we can save some food, we might be fine. Well, Dolores got sick, so that was not smart. Tomato soup is our best friend and mushrooms aren't. Yuck. Fantastic. Dolores came down with a sickness. Smart, Weasel. Smart. There's some radio chatter about airdrops from the military. It's about time. Ah, no, no mask. No masks, no airdrops. Those could have been really <sighs> helpful. It was too dangerous to go out there without any protection. Yes, <laughs> tell that to our daughter. Okay, so uh, we can't just sit around while the Loris is sick. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Well, I screwed it up and I'm paying the price. Okay, they're hungry, right? Um, no, just, just Ted is hungry. Day six, that's understandable. I can't I can last a day without food. The trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans. Let's use our Boy Scout book to deal with that situation. I, I I'm fixing up Dolores. Just because she's an adult, she's a more valuable. Just imagine I never got that medikit and I never made that mistake where I ate mushrooms from the wall. Alright, so Timmy's very hungry. So is Dolores. Let's uh give them some food. I hope my daughter comes back. Our patient is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside if there's any trouble in the area, as we're about to step out of a pair of animal eyes flashing in the darkness. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Let's use the rifle for that and shoot it right in the face. Does, does it drop anything? Nope. 
A quick shot with the rifle was more enough to scare away or maybe bring down whatever creature stalk does. Wonderful. What is all the lords wants? Water and water. I hope my daughter comes back. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we have to leave eventually. Yes, let's listen. Let's make contact with the military. I would love nothing more than to finally get rescued. We made contact, the military's out there, and they're coming for us. Timmy's in terrible shape, Dolores will no longer survive without water, and Ted looks like he got one from the grave. They always say that. They just, they just scare you. Don't worry, you don't have to give them water. Everything is shaking, cans are jumping all over the place. If this has happened after we drank that delicious wine for supper a few weeks back, it would seem perfectly normal. It's either another nuke or a quake. Either way, we need to grab something before everything gets smashed. <laughs> Luckily, I only have a radio, so I'm at least not losing, losing an item. That's something. And it's day 10, it's time to drink. Daughter, you look so sick, what's wrong with you? Earthquake or not, nothing is going to stand between us and our daily dose of radiostatic. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning from the shelter from the service, returning to the shelter from the service with radiation poisoning. Yes. All right. No more bombs dropped. All right. What did we get? A food drop. Two food. Nice. Someone forgot to fill the water crate with something to sh soften the fall. Two bottles and every responsible and respectable family needs a first aid kit filled with some high quality drugs. Fantastic. Um... We were running short, so the opportunity to replenish them was perfect. This is something we was eagerly were eagerly awaiting. All right, so should I should I? Mm, good question. Should I heal Mary Jane? <sighs> well, she contracted an illness. Since she's not going outside, I, I might send her outside later. Who knows? All right, so water, water is a thing. Everyone needs water, and um, she definitely needs food. Does anyone else need food? Nope, just water for everyone and uh, food for her, which is understandable. Man, using the medkit, not using the medkit. We could send her on another scavenging mission. If we don't heal her now, she might get sick, uh, she might die, and then we can't send her to scavenge more stuff. Ah, whatever, let's use it. Let's be a family. Let's do the smart thing. All right. Um, we're not preparing an expedition right now. I think we have a little bit of food here. After all the days we spent on here, we are not exactly clean. I really don't understand what the ammunition does here. So why not take a shower? We have ammunition that we can select. Are we going to shoot ourselves to get rid of the smell? I will try it. I will try it just to know what what the ammunition does in that regard. I have a hard time believing it makes any sense. We lost it, definitely. That's interesting. There do not. It's a smell. That's the biggest issue here. How to deal with that? Well, we've got some spare ammo, so why not use the gunpowder? To kill the smell. Let's rub it in. Sounds like a brilliant idea. Ha! Huh. Well, we got rid of the smell and the ammunition. Fantastic. Not smart, I guess. I mean, the other thing would have been better. But I was just so curious. What can you do with ammunition? Well, we were rubbing gunpowder all over us. Does that actually help? Could you guys look that up and tell the comments if you can, if, if rubbing gunpowder over you kills the smell? Anyway, Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Um... How long will it last? Mm, nothing going on. Well, let's give her food again to f make her unhungry. All right, we took some time examining our map and found it had some abnormal symbols scribbled in a few places. It appears that someone had hidden something in that area. Should we send someone? Let's send Timmy to investigate that. I've never had that event and I never had someone at least at that time to investigate. I have no idea what he's gonna bring back. He's sick. I'm okay with that. He brought two cans of soup. That's great. We found our way to one of our neighbor's backyards and dug under one of the trees. We discovered two food cans. That's what we call a successful treasure hunt. Cool. Very nice. Um, he should eat something. He fell sick and is tired. Okay, so everyone except Lars gets food. Pretty much that's the idea, yeah? Man, Timmy's sick. Happens. Happens. Um, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna send any of the adults right now. Just waiting until the fallout goes down. Would be nice if we could cure Timmy, but I think Timmy is not gonna make it. I wonder how long he can be sick. It doesn't really tell me much about that. Timmy's very hungry. Mary Jane could use food and water. Okay, first day without water. Let's ignore that. Um, so just Timmy and so just the kids want food. That's okay. We can we can we can we can spare some food here. Um, yeah, no trip. No trip right now. That trash can of ours is disgustingly full. Let's use the Boy Scout book as usual. 
always works great. I wonder if I should just ignore that, but then we might get sick, and I would not want that. All right, we dodged a bullet. Good, 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 good. Timmy is in terrible shape. We need to give him water now, right? Meow. Ah, water, water. Nah, not happening. Okay, finally Dolores wants some food. Here, wife, don't starve on me. Uh, there are other problems to consider. None of us can sleep properly. I do not have a medkit to give you medication. I think everyone's going crazy, going crazy now. Is that what happens usually? No, they're all just tired. Tired, 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 tired. So the chance of them getting crazy is higher. All right, so day 15, it's time for water. It's water time. Does she still need food? No, they only need water, so that's very good. I mean, considering that we still have to give everyone water, which kind of, eh, not so, not so happy. And nobody can go outside, which is fine. Ah, oh, no flashlight. We can't signal the military. Ah, oh, well, that is just how we play this. Still can make it. No problem. We have plenty of food. We have still water. <sighs> Nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Timmy's looking very pale. The signal has to wait besides today, even though how much flashlights battery cost. In this economy, probably thousands of dollars. Looking pale, not good. Okay, nothing new. You know, except, you know, Timmy being sick. What was that? Rat rats are usually smaller. Let's use the axe. I don't want to waste my rifle here. Even though you can use the axe to disinfect a wound or cut off a limb, whatever. It's pretty much the same. Disinfecting, cutting off. So that's nice what you can do. And you can defend yourself, so I feel the axe is more versatile than the gun. Doesn't need anything, doesn't need anything. Timmy needs an extra blanket, he's shivering all the time. If only you would have stocked supplies here before, Ted. Okay. Ted says there's nothing to worry about him, he's okay. You know, considering that this is all... This was expected, I mean, you built a shelter because it was expected. And then it happened. Really tells a lot about you being prepared. Or, or, here's just an idea, maybe the shelter was just finished the same day. They just finished it and then all of a sudden the alarm, so he couldn't bring anything down yet. The contractors just finished the shelter. Maybe that's... Just give him the benefit of a doubt. Okay, nothing to worry about, nothing, 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 everything's good, 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 good. So we can just skip over that day, you know. I would heal Timmy, I totally would. Alert, a gang of firefighters outside. They're dressed like ones, they're banging on the door, ordering us to surrender our supplies. Um, let's use the gun. And let's get rid of those suckers. I hope they drop something for me and we don't lose the rifle. Didn't lose the rifle, did they drop something? new? No. <sighs> they dropped something once. Maybe I have to use a different item like the box spray or the axe. Anyway, everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Yes, yes. Day 20. Day 20, you will get something. Ted is hungry. Here. Uh, no expedition because everyone's tired. I can't send anyone. All right, let's listen to the radio. I think we can make, like, uh, seven more days. Seven... Thirteen more days. At this point, eleven more days. And then we're dead if we don't get more water. So, of course, he wants food. Um... Wait, Mary Jane wanted food, right? Yes, she wants food. Let's give her some food. Here you go. Yeah, I, I can't send anyone. That's a shame. And we can trade in some ammunition for something. Because we kind of rubbed that all over us. Maybe we can scrape it off and put it back. I mean, we still have the bolt. We have the shells, right? I mean, maybe we could fake something out. Eh, who knows. Timmy should eat something. Put some soup into the shells. It's going to have the same weight or something. I don't know. It must be fun trying to shoot that. I mean, when he finds out, it's going to be too late. Anyway, time for water. Um, Dolores hasn't eaten in a while. Let's give her food and rest. Water. Dolores says she's fine, but we're not sure. <sighs> I think I'm gonna go a day without. Mary Jane was injured in the last expedition. She didn't mention it to us and we didn't notice. I'm gonna ignore the symptoms. Hopefully she doesn't get sick. Well, she got sick. Good job, Weasel. Good going. Good job. She caught something nasty. I was hoping she would be fine. Sometimes they are, sometimes they are not, and I really like that axe. Well, apart from them being sick and Timmy being hungry, everyone's fine. 
All right, let's send Dolores out tomorrow. She might be able to get a med kit for one of her kids. Bring two. Also, what kind of silly med kits are there that you need a whole med kit to heal someone up? Seems a little bit overkill. Also, I see there's still some gauze on there. You could have used that. Worst. Okay, Mary Jane is rested. Timmy's very hungry and Dolores is fatigued. Wait. I thought I gave you food, Timmy. Timmy, what are you talking about? Wait, I can't send the daughter. She's already sick. Let's send her. I don't care if she doesn't make it. She's sick. If she comes back, she might. If she brings back a med kit, I will give her the med kit. Then she deserves it. How about get, getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. La, 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 la. Yes, yes, yes. You can you can go wild water for a while. And we still don't have the flashlight to signal the military, so there will never know. It's actually an interesting thought. You know, if you can't signal a rescue party, but you have a shelter, what are you going to do? You should be able to submit that you have a shelter to a list, a government list that only they have in case they want to help you. Then again, the government could try to just take over the shelter and steal your resources because it's a corrupt government now. Eh, I don't know. Some shadow government. Timmy's in durable shape. We need to give him water, 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 water. Okay, he's hungry. Good. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Here, have some food. And let's listen to the radio. I mean, at least no one is crazy. I will take that as a personal win. Terrible shape, no water. Okay, time for water. And that is pretty much the last of it. Two more bottles, or two more potions or ra rations. Ooh, well, great. So Mary Jane is back, but she's crazy. Timmy was sick and he went away. Okay, that's fine. Bye bye, Timmy. So Mary Jane came back. She brought two water. You're the best. One of our neighbors had a boat of his own. The old time I wasn't happy to let anyone use it and just kept it in his yard. It's still there, but the neighbor isn't. We finally got a chance to get a look inside. Since the ocean is pretty salty, keeping a supply of drinkable water on board was a pretty reasonable precaution to take. Now it's reasonable as to take it with us. Yes, okay, only two bottles of water. Well. Well, she's cuckoo and sick. I don't think I'm gonna feed her. Dolores is hungry. Sorry, Mary Jane. Yeah, she shouldn't go outside. She she should not go outside. But we can send Dolores a tet tomorrow. Uh, we've been worrying about that other door. Let's check out what's behind door number one. Maybe it's a soup can. Nope, it drove Ted crazy. Lovely. We couldn't spare any food for Mary Jane, and eventually she reached a boiling point where her stare was enough to kill. She left without a word, but we knew she would eventually become a highway woman and get all the food cans she would ever need. But what is a highway woman? It's a little bit disturbing, isn't it? What's the first thing to do when you open a door leading to a place you don't know? Open fire, bam bam, our bullet struck the wall, and guess what? We hit a water pipe. Yes. Yes, two bottles of water. Laura's sanity is questionable. Ted has gone crazy. Lovely. Let's send Dolores into the wasteland. Always a good idea. Uh, Ted has gone crazy. There's nothing I can do for him. There's, there's absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Wait, did you want something? No, he's thirsty. That's okay. He can go a little bit longer. And let's deal with the trash can with the Boy Scout book. If I got the event to look at old family pictures, that might be a good one. That might bring his sanity down. He is crazy, crazy. Alright, he needs to drink soon. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Day 30. It's actually quite helpful if you have someone or with you all the time. Just every fifth day, so... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You get the idea. That is exactly how you need to do. Makes it quite easy, actually. Uh, is it food Is it feeding time? Yes, he's hungry. Teddy boy. Again, the military broadcast, no flashlight. No flashlight. <sighs> the signal has to wait, besides, do they ever know how much flashlight batteries cost? Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> He's fighting his inner demons. I wish I could help you, Ted. I wish I could. The first aid kit is useless. Let's use the buck spray. Maybe Ted can pull it off. Uh, Dolores still isn't back. Uh, a pair of strangers, probably Bennett, searched the remains. We overheard them talking. One of them mentioned they captured a woman. Oh, no. They got Dolores. They got Dolores. They got my Dolores. 
and Ted is now crazy. Well, Ted definitely could survive really long, but he is crazy. Well, that's a problem. That is a big problem. They're everywhere. Well, if I use the Boy Scout book, then I can get another can of soup. Won't I be able to, right? Yep, got another can of soup. I love this event, the spider event. We, While we're hunting them with the book, we get another can of soup. Okay, Ted needs water. Not now, Ted, not now. What's that sound? Something is below us. Let's check it out with the axe. Poor Ted, hearing sounds. Have to has to defend himself, and he's hurt now. Lovely. We barely made it out alive. It was a giant mutated crocodile. Hmm. Every day Ted is more and more becoming absent-minded. Oh, he ruined the map. He used it as toilet pa paper. Lovely. All right. Um. Let's give him some food. Let's heal him up. I mean, that's that's what I got it for. Despite his need for a nap, Ted could try his best on the surface. Nope, not sending him. Uh, if he's just running out, I'm, I'm gonna have a problem. Poor guy. He's gonna lose it totally. Memories or not, we need to keep our head clear and get a grip on reality ahead of us. Yes, please get a grip of reality, Ted. Okay, he needs a drink. Stay 35, absolutely. Yeah, we're not taking the wrist. Ah, and the gang of firefighters. Well, I still got a rifle to defend myself. Don't, don't, don't. Try to steal from the man, the crazy man with the sock puppet. A man and a sock puppet, they're gonna defend themselves. Well, send them home. Fantastic. Uh, I don't think he needs anything. Yeah, he's fine. He's doing well. Except being crazy. Uh, when we heard someone knocking on the door, who could it be? Who could be in the part of... Ah. We hear someone knocking on the door. Should we open up? <sighs> okay, here, here's it, guys. Here's it. I do have plenty of food and water. It could be someone who's stealing. It's just knocking. It's not angry knocking. But I remember someone saying something about two knocks. I don't know if that is true. It's too early. It's day 36. I'm still gonna open up. Even if they take a little bit of water and food, we can still survive longer. We'll see. Actually, what was that? We opened the hatch, but there was nobody there. It's a prank. Thank you. That's, that's, that's great. Just what I need. A prank. <laughs> and the military wants us to use the flashlight again, which is not happening. I'm still not in possession of one, and I don't think I ever will be unless a traitor comes by. Ted should drink something soon. Yes, but not now. I'm going to wait for day 40 to go through that. <sighs> Just look at those... Poor lost eyes. Yeah, we can take care of ourselves. Okay, yes, he still don't need water, Ted. I, I can't count. We have plenty of distant relatives, but none of them mean as much as Auntie Ada. She lives in the country, so there's a good chance she's still configuring her cow counting machine and not worrying about nukes raining down our hen house. Too bad we don't have a photo of her, or do we? Please, let's hope that this brings them to reality. Looking at photos. Um, let's read. We did. The photo we were looking for was stuck between the pages. What a lucky coincidence. It's a bit blurry, but it's still a wonderful surprise. It might help with his craziness. It didn't cure him, but, you know, seeing a photo of a relative might be something to keep you going. He's stumbling. Stumbling is rumbling. Yes. Sure, weasel. And he needs some water. Absolutely. Food and water. It's a good day for you, Ted. It's a good day. Ring, ring. There we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again, when suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We figured it's the phone booth across the street, should someone go answer it. I will send Ted. I think he should be back right the next day. Yes, he is back, I think. Wonderful, so that is not, like, losing. That's good. Uh, we got to the phone booth without any unexpected surprises and answered the phone quickly. We were so excited to hear a voice on the other end of the line. Excited, that is, until we realized there was a pre-recorded sales message for canned tomato soup. Aww. Well... He safely returned to the surface, and his stomach is rumbling. Really? I thought I fed you recently. Guess we're gonna have to keep counting. Yeah, we're not gonna send you out for an expedition, sorry. Not not happening, Ted. Not happening. You're gonna have to stay inside. At least you got some fresh air. You got some fresh air outside. I think that's totally fair. That was closed, and there's of these glowing bugs. Yes, yes, yes. Nothing new anyway. 
Why can't you become a mutant, Ted? Why can't you become a mutant? All right, let's let's tune into a radio station. It would be great if he, if he could listen to some music that might calm his mind, his beautiful mind. Well, nothing. We could hear nothing but the annoying static. Ted is fine. I don't think he's fine. I don't think he's fine. All right, every time we want to check out one of these really great places in the neighborhood, we end up looking at a stain or a hole in our map. That's not very helpful. Sure, let's fix the map. If we can, that Boy Scout book. Really the best item you can have. It is so versatile. And Ted is really thirsty. You know what? Even if I give him every three days, we have plenty of time left. But I'm, I'm gonna not gonna give him water. I'm gonna... Ah, a flashlight again. Can't you, you know, don't you want a map, like, do a meetup or something? Wouldn't that be great? No water for Ted. And our hideout was approached by someone that wants to play a gambling game, which we can't do because we don't have a map. Sorry if I'm skipping through things fast. I mean, you've been watching for a lot of episodes now. Um, this is a situation where I definitely want to go through fast because... I'm just waiting for events. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set the kids? Yeah, the kids are still gonna care. Sure, Ted. Sure, they're still gonna care. Uh, let's just give them water and food. Why not? Every new smell attacks our noses. There is much we can miss. So when a single brick fell from out the wall, revealing a tight opening, our senses were immediately invaded. Yes, let's check it out. Um, worst case, we lo lose a soup can. I think. Oh, we might be hurt. Uh oh, I shouldn't have checked it out. Did we find did we find a soup can? Yes. We looked into the hole, fearing something might come at us with claws, fangs, or other mutated or shop body parts. Yes, it was good. A rat trying to sneak away. A soup can. No soup for you, Mr. Rat. Okay, very good. Very good. So we can survive even longer alone in this shelter. Poor 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 guy. Poor guy. Well, at least water and food is not a concern. Ted keeps behaving really oddly. Seems he's busy fighting his inner demons. Ah, he's spiraling down. He's spiraling into craziness. <sighs> and someone wants to play cards again. See, if I'm a person that wanders around the wasteland and I want to gamble with people in a card game, you know what? I would what I would have? I would have a card game. It's like, hey, you want to you, you want to gamble? Great. Do you have a card game? No. Oh well, then. Forget my silly assumption. Why would anyone... It's it's weird that they someone who goes around gambling doesn't have something to gamble with. Of course, we're not going to send you out as usual. And we're dealing with the trash can as best as we can. Day 50! Let's cheer in excitement for him still being alive. I think he's pretty alive. Uh, happy about being alive. Okay. Uh, let's give him water so it's back to day 50, just so we know. So we can go and do it day 55. Oh, her, hear that. It sounds like a herd of animals are stamping just above our heads across what used to be our beautiful lawn. They're not getting aware of that. It might be a perfect opportunity to get some fresh food. Yes, go go hunting, Ted. Sure, it's an event I didn't have yet, so I'm gladly trying that out. Well, we haven't been injured. Three cans of soup. Wow. We found the herd and we were able to bring down something that looked like a two-headed donkey that was carrying a package of sorts. Before we could get to it, a giant bird of prey swooped on, grabbed the carcass and flew away. Wow. All that remained were a few cans of soup that fell out of the donkey's pack. Three cans of soup. Neatly. Neat, neat, neat. Wait, he needs water again? On day 51? I just gave him something yesterday. Ah, well. Yeah, let's reset it. The military is transmitting again. I bet they are. I bet they are. Poor Ted. Is there anything I can do for you? I would totally play... Um, Tic-Tac-Toe of you or so. I don't know. I mean, you got apparently some chalk here and there. Making lists. Okay. If only I would have had a flashlight, I probably would be saved by now. If only. Oh, by the way, I should... Okay, he's doing well. Great! Look at this event. We've been hearing strange noises lately. We should probably get busy with something to keep us occupied before this gets worse. Yeah, we feel like we might be going crazy. Fantastic! I do not have any of those. Ah, oh, poor Ted. Poor Ted. He's gonna lose it today, isn't he? He's, he totally lost it. Ted is hungry. 
Well, here, have some food, Ted. We got plenty of it. I can feed you every single day now. It's really weird when you get the feeling that something's watching you. Our shelter's tiny, but this has been bugging us for a while. Maybe a rodent of some kind. Um, let's use the axe and get the rabbit away. Worst case, he would steal some food, I think. Oh. Well, that concludes this episode. What happened? Whatever it was, it is dead now. Quite dead. Yeah, I can understand that this would drive me crazy too if there was a weird crazy thing in here and I was already losing it. Ted could not resist the madness that was consuming him any longer. It seemed that today, following the advice of a sock puppet, he left the bunker. Ted, why? Why, Ted? It was going... We, we could have... We could have... Done it. We could have done it. Ah, well. Ah, well. I perished. Uh, I'm still surprised I made over 50 days, considering that... We had not the best start. Then again, it wasn't the worst. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of 60 Seconds. If you did, please leave a like. Hit that like button. Drop a nuke on it. I'm Weasel. I'm out and up to see you around. Bye-bye.